All right, everybody, so I just got a new pack of keycaps in, and they are the Olivia PBT from Novel Keys. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing as well as a comparison to another Olivia keycap set that I have, and we're gonna see how they stack up. I'm sure everybody has seen this keycap set at least once by now, but it's coming back around, and I think it's time to take a look at it. If you're into mechanical keyboard videos or just tech videos in general, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe. All right, let's get started. But uh, this is kind of what it's gonna look like when you pull it out the box. See, these ones are made of uh, PBT. So you're gonna have a different kind of material. You're gonna see a different sheen. And the first thing I noticed when pulling this out of the box was that all the black keys, or the modifiers and stuff like that, they have like a glitteriness to them. I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not, but they look really cool. So uh, this keycap set is kind of controversial because I, I believe everybody loves it or just the majority of people love it. But there are a few people who are saying that they um, that this colorway is pretty overdone. Uh, this is actually my first set of having anything actually uh, official GMK Olivia colored, you know what I mean? So I can't necessarily compare it to the official GMK uh, Olivia, but I do have another set of keys to compare them to. And they're actually an unauthorized clone that I will not uh, <laughs> mention their name, but we're gonna see the difference in quality and compare the difference in price. But as we can see, these are, are, they give you a ton of different kind of keys when it comes to this set. Looks like all the shotting of all the keys is pretty darn clear. It doesn't look all messy and squiggly. If you look a little bit closer, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. But oh to the box though. The box is actually really nice when you um, unpackage it. Now, here is the, here is another set of Olivia keycaps that I've got, and these aren't necessarily like cheap ones that you would find on Amazon, but they're, uh, I would say they're pretty top notch when it comes to clones. <laughs> of course, this is a very shaky territory when it comes to doing reviews, because not everybody approves of, uh, you know, purchasing clones just because of, you know, the stigma behind it regarding designers getting their work taken and stuff like that. But that's another story for another video. See, let's just check out the quality and then compare from there. So this is the second set, which is pretty darn close. I noticed some differences already. Um, when you look at our function row, I don't believe that set actually has white function keys up top, which is okay. There is actually a, an F13 included, so that's cool. But there's a quite a few like novelty style keys in this, uh, and it's Libya clone, which is pretty cool. But if we're looking at our uh, our alphas, these are like pretty much spot on, bro. It's the keys along the side here, our modifier keys and our, you know, our backspace shift, enter, keys like that that have a little bit of like quality concerns. If you ask me, it's the enter, <laughs> the enter key right here that's a little bit concerning. But uh, so if we're looking at our space bars, this is the novel keys Olivia space bar here. And this is our clone Olivia spacebar. I'd say they're pretty much identical when it comes to color. For some reason, this one is double shot it, but <laughs> that's interesting. But I will say that the quality of the Novel Keys PBT is clearly better. It's it's a hundred percent better. But wow, they're so close. If you were if if I wasn't holding both of these next to each other, even doing so, like I almost feel like I'm nervous. I'm gonna mix them up because. <laughs> The actual material, whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm not, if I'm honest, the space bar on the clone is in a better condition. Let me show you guys on camera here. So on our novel key space bar, it's super hard to see, but around here, there's little markings on it along here too. In person, it's a lot worse. I don't see it. I don't know if you guys can see those markings, but the one uh, from the clone is literally flawless. I mean, you've got more options with the novel keys one and it's probably overall a better sound because it feels like thicker but it is only that one shotting so we'll see so this is the novel keys olivia pbt and this is the olivia abs clone let me know in the comments below which one you think is your favorite <laughs> Now, if I'm being completely honest, the Novelties PBT Olivia kit is pretty much all you need if you've been looking for that colorway. Everybody knows how hard it is to get a set of GMK Olivia's at this point in time, 
but I believe there's actually gonna be a rerun coming up soon made by GMK, so keep on the lookout for that. But if you don't wanna wait, I definitely recommend you grab the Novel Keys PBT Olivia as soon as you can. As for the clone, there's really not that much of a difference in pricing, so I would recommend just get the Novel Keys PBT version, and it'll probably save your conscience a little bit. <laughs> Either way, get what you can afford, hey man, it's just a hobby, right? I personally won't really be thinking about getting too many clones just because, I don't know, man. As an artist myself, I kind of feel a different way about it. But I do know one thing is that these keycaps aren't getting any cheaper. So do with that as you will. <laughs> All things aside, make sure you let me know in the comments if you feel like the Olivia colorway is overdone or kind of overrated, or if you feel like it's everlasting. Me, I just respect it as a whole. I don't know if I'll keep it on my keyboard very long though. It's kind of, I don't know if it's really my vibe. <laughs> but it's a great design though. If you enjoyed the video or you felt like you got any kind of value from it, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's so much more to come. Man, we just getting started. <laughs> My name is Zeke and I'll catch you guys on the next one.